Hey there! In today's video, we'll learn how to render lists in React. Rendering lists, or any sets of data, is a very common during application development. Lists could be a list of blog posts, to dos, shopping cart, or a news feed. All these items have one thing in common they are lists of data. To create a component that, that returns the list of items in React, we use JavaScript array methods. Since JSX is just JavaScript, we can use any JavaScript method when returning JSX markup. So, let's imagine that we will have an array of some strings, uh, some strings, and it will be a shopping items. And let's define this array here in our app component. All right. Great. Let's do it in this way. Uh, all right, and let's create a component that will render this list of items, this array. Let's create a new file, and we'll give it a name of shopping list DSX. All right, and let's import. React and let's define the component. And it will be const shopping list and it will be of type React functional component. Uh, and it will have one prop of an array of items. And it will be this uh, this shopping item. And let's return here a fragment. And here we will have an H2, H2. We will call shopping list and UL element. And let's see what this auto suggestion gave us. All right, so we are mapping the item and let's call it like more descriptive. shopping item and we since this is an array not an object we don't have ID or names it will be uh, showing just a shop shopping item from an array uh, all right and it will be a string And we need to also create an interface for this component. And let's call it shopping list interface. And we will have here shopping of type of type array array of strings and let's edit here and let's import it let's export it all right and now let's try to use it in our application let's return to our app import it here And let's for now get rid of to do items and let's use shopping list. And let's provide here our shopping array as a prop. 
and let's see how it looks. And as you see, we have our shopping list component proper, properly rendered. We have here the list of all our items and the header. All right, now let's see and discuss the code of the shopping list component. Since shopping prop is a simple array, we can use just a simple map uh, method from uh, from the JavaScript. This is not a part of React. This is just JavaScript. And we are mapping uh, the shopping array. And we are returning every shopping item. Uh, for every shopping item, we are returning some some JSX, some, uh, some markup. Uh, and here we have an ally with shopping item, so just just a string of this this uh, item and one of the very important things here is the ski uh, the ski attribute uh, this comes from react we are not defining this prop it comes from react and the thing with uh, with this key attribute uh, when you are rendering some some lists you should always define this key attribute uh, this is important for react uh, for uh, mainly for its performance because uh, when uh, those lists are changing in, in some way, let, let's say they are dynamic, you are, uh, for example, fetching the data from, from some service and uh, displaying it uh, here, uh, so this list could be dynamic. And for example, if list uh, is rendered on a page and something is changed, uh, React, uh, when, when you have this key defined, uh, React will only render those parts uh, which were ch <coughs> sorry, which were changed, not like the whole component, the whole list, but only those parts uh, which are changed. And React will decide what to render based on those key. Uh, so very important uh, things about keys. Uh, they should be unique inside the particular array. So uh, for now, in this very simple. Uh, example, we just used the just our items, but in more real world examples, it could be something like IDs of the element. And they should not be assigned while, while rendering. Uh, so we could do something like that and it will, it will be like, you know, valid. Uh, for example, we will have an index here. Uh, and we could do something like that. And it, it will be okay for React to consume the index as a key, but that's like not the point of index, because in that case, we dynamically assigning keys uh, while, uh, while component is rendering. And since we're doing that, when one value will change, uh, React should re-render the, the whole list because every key will change, because every index will change, and, and that is not the point. So you can do that, but it, it is pointless. So remember, uh, assign here some, some static string or ID from the set of data, uh, which comes here from, from the prop. Uh, all right. Uh, and what else I would like to say about rendering lists? Um, yeah, and, and sometimes the, the most, like, uh, you can see even something like that. If you will use math random, yeah, for sure it will be unique, but as you already know, it will not serve the purpose of this key prop. So just remember to use uh, some some value from your set of data, not the index from map, not math random. All right, and that's it for rendering lists. Uh, check the description for more information. Thanks for watching and happy coding.